How you doing guys? This is Chris from Terrestrial Imaging here with a possible solution as to why your ST16 controller is not displaying any video from your Seagull 3 Plus camera on the bottom of your Typhoon H. So we've read online in forums and chat rooms and we've also had some of our customers call us with complaints about their ST16 controller not displaying any video. So the solution that I'm about to present really only pertains to people that have a limp or lifeless Seago 3 Plus camera. And now all that means is, I'm just going to show you guys over here, that the camera is limp or lifeless. So it's not getting any power from the Typhoon H. I can spin it around, I can play with it, and it's just not alive. There's also a little blinking light on top that should be blinking green, but in this case there is no blinking light, which means that there's no power from the drone. So, to you know, really solve that problem, we're going to turn off our Typhoon H, just in case it's connected and we just don't really want to mess anything up. Um, next, on the bottom of the, or on the front of the drone, there's a little tab over here underneath the two sensors. So, if we pull that tab up gently and gently pull on our gimbal, the gimbal is going to come out. So now if you notice on the bottom of the, or on the top of the gimbal rather, there's six points of contact. So this, uh, these six points of contact, they line up with six points of contact on the bottom of the Typhoon H. And this is how the gimbal receives its power from the batteries on the Typhoon H, or in the Typhoon H rather. So now I'm going to show you guys on the bottom of the Typhoon H, you can see that there's those six points of contact which line up perfectly where the gimbal connects. So now, some people are receiving drones that um, have these six points of contact not perfectly lined up, so that's why the, um, the camera is lifeless, and some people just um, aren't realizing to just take it on and off, um, and instead they're sending their Typhoon H's back and they're unhappy, but um, hopefully this is a quick and simple solution for you guys. So um, I'm going to turn my Typhoon H around and put the gimbal back on, and now putting the gimbal on can sometimes be... <laughs> a little bit of a frustrating process, but you just want to make sure you're careful and that you line everything up and that everything fits perfectly in the slots that it's supposed to. So once you have those lined up, just push your gimbal in carefully, tilt your um, aircraft back up, and now we're going to power it back on. So right off the bat, when you press the power button, you can see on the top of the camera that there is a little white light, and that means right off the bat that power is going to the CDO 3 Plus camera. Now when the drone boots itself up, the Seagull 3 Plus camera does a little calibration and um, it lines itself up. So now um, just to further show you guys that we now have power to the Seagull 3 Plus camera and a connection to the ST16 controller, um, I'm going to rotate the, um, the pan control knob on the controller and you can see that the camera is now rotating in a 360. Alright guys, so hopefully this was the solution to your problem because this has helped some other people in the past. Hopefully this helps you too. Um, if you look at our ST16 controller, you'll see that we now have video displayed and an established connection to our Seago 3 Plus camera. So, just leave any comments or questions in the boxes below, guys, if you have anything to say. And thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.